guys and welcome back to my channel so I thought that I would do a nighttime routine with Livy um, as you can probably hear oh that's the recycling excuse that mess over there <laughs> but as you can probably hear I'm sick I caught myself a cold been very stressed lately so that's probably why she <laughs> she's eating her dinner right now I was giving her a little bit of cheese which she has in her hair and she's having some pate chinois, so um, shepherd's pie in English. She had a really, really good lunch today. She ate um, chicken noodle soup with spinach and leek and carrots and potato. So that was great. Oh boy. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along. We're going to do a little nighttime routine. Bath time, bedtime, things like that. Um, it's probably gonna be a little bit slowed down because like I said, I'm feeling sick So usually my house would not be as messy as it is. I usually am pretty good at picking up um, But today forget it <laughs> All right, so We're having dinner You're having dinner? <laughs> You want to have a bath after? Do you want to have a bath? Bath time? You want to do a bath? We wash your hair. We wash that cheese out of your hair. Mm. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, good job. You just spit out your food. Did you just spit out your food, Missy? <laughs> you spit out your food, eh? Oh, that girly spit out her food. Yes, dump it up. Does this mean that you're no longer hungry or you just don't like your dinner? What does this mean? Let's see if she swallows that. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Liv, say hello. <laughs> you cannot touch the camera with your dirty fingers. You cannot touch the camera with your dirty fingers. Oh, <gasps> your finger is dirty. <laughs> you are too much. Too much here. Have some minced meat. Oh my God, what's this? So Liv decided she doesn't want her shepherd's pie. She literally spit it all over herself. So we're gonna resort to plan B, which is just some cereal, some apple cinnamon cereal and a mini go. And perhaps she'll have the rest of her cheese. I don't know, usually she likes potato. You don't like potato, Titi? I think it's the minced meat in the shepherd's pie that she's not really enjoying. We'll see. Imagine these are all her clothes that are too small. Like she literally has nothing left. I gotta go shopping. But um, I took her out of the bath. I'm just getting her pajamas. I'm trying to think of. I'm gonna put her these. Yeah. Getting her pajamas. Livy, are you ready to have a bath, baby? I'm putting. This is where I change her usually. I just put her here, and this is reality right here. Did not put this in the laundry yet. My robe, everything's a mess, what can I do? So I'm just gonna get a diaper for her. All right, babe, let's go take a bath. Come on, come follow mommy. Come follow mommy. This is her bath, I just put her some bubbles with her soap. I use Attitude Baby Leaves. It's a two-in-one and it smells of pear nectar. So good. You ready to have a bath? She loves bath time. <laughs> Are you ready for a bath, Livy? Are you ready, babe? <laughs> okay, let's take a bath.
actually this is the hardest part is getting this kid to stay still so that I could change her put her her diaper put her her PJs usually she makes a fuss can mommy change you please Daddy. Daddy. honey honey she has no depth perception she'll totally just fall off if I let her oh we really managed to just get her diaper on this is a miracle Daddy. and she's gone and she's off again live Liv, can you please wait? Can you please wait? Honey, okay, here, wait, sit up like this. Look, look at the camera. Hi, camera! <laughs> no, no, don't take it from mommy. <laughs> Yay. All right, BRB, I'm gonna get, try and get her pajamas on. So I used to put her cream um, after her bath or every single day, but I've noticed that her skin has gotten significantly less dry by me not putting cream all the time. So I don't put cream all the time. I got this dresser from um, uh, like Facebook garage sale type thing where they sell like secondhand things. It's literally in perfect condition. It's still empty because I need to fill it. I'm probably gonna use it for the second baby also. But yeah, I'm just organizing her things. I gotta get rid of all that and put it in the basement. And now I'm basically just trying to run after my kid to brush her hair. Liv, Liv, can mommy brush your hair? Please don't lose all your shoes, okay? Please don't lose all your shoes. You have such nice shoes. You have such nice shoes. These Timberlands. Oh my gosh. And then I got these in Toronto. The little mini version of the Filas that you see like for the adults and whatever. And then we got some Nikes. We got some Pumas. I mean, how cute are all these? But um, I gotta go shopping for her for some... I got even these little leopard slippers. But I gotta go shopping for her for some boots for the winter although she's probably gonna be like in a one piece and it already has like the little boots that come with it but maybe some spring uh, some fall boots would be cute so we got to put those sandals away we got to get stuff done but <laughs> I'm basically sitting down just staring at everything that I have to do all those clothes up there I got to be put them away It's been a very stressful couple of days. We have a family member that's very close to us that is very sick. So we've all just been exhausted going back and forth and physically exhausted, emotionally exhausted. Um, I've noticed Liv's behavior has changed a little bit in the sense where um, she's very, very attached to my mom. My mom has been watching her quite a bit. Um, she does have that character naturally that she's has a lot of like separation anxiety. She always wants to be with me. Um, but I don't know. I think she feels that like mommy's not home and like where, where am I going and whatever. So are you having fun playing with your shoes? Those are your cute little sandals from Walmart. Mm hmm. Playing a game? No. Wow. Ow. Wow. Liv, can you say wow? Livy. Livy. Hello. Huh. Say wow. No, honey, don't eat your yaki. Okay, sweetie, what do you say if we go in the living room so mommy can prepare herself something to eat? Yaki, don't eat your shoes. You insist on eating your shoes. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Look at these little feet. I'm obsessed with these feet. I'm going to go see what I can make myself to eat. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Good job. Um, I should have pâté chinois, but I'm going to be honest here when I say that I feel like some comfort food and I'm seriously debating this right there. 
these chicken wings. I'll share with you guys some stuff I got live for fall. Um, this I just found it at Walmart today. Super cute, just um, a onesie bodysuit that says bows make everything better. It's a really nice pink. So that can like go with a pair of jeans or whatever. I don't know, I landed up spending, I feel like I spent too much money honestly for barely anything, but it's really cute stuff. I got this at um, a store called Aubenry that we have here in Quebec. It's like a little sweater dress, so really cute. And with the sweater dress, I landed up getting a bunch of tights. I got white tights from Old Navy. I got black tights because she had none. I got these tights with the little, um, uh, what do you call them, polka dots. And then I also got the, um, oh, I thought she was wearing, she was wearing today these white tights with um, little gray hearts, so I got that too. I got this from Old Navy, this super cute like burgundy skirt. It's gonna look so adorable with like a, a bodysuit and a little pair of booties, which I have to buy because I don't have. Next thing were these super cute black pants. The detailing is awesome. I got her this really nice like dusty rose sweater and then it has, I don't know if you guys can see that, like sparkly pink button. And I got her a hat with a pom-pom. Bye. Yes, mommy has to get some safety things for the door because you're gonna get your little finger stuck there. <sighs> so I just put on some Furchester for Liv um, to keep her a little bit busy so that I can just prepare myself something to eat. She has like all these toys spread out. She even has an empty Amazon box that she's playing with. And yet, she still follows me to the bathroom. <laughs> and she still follows me in the kitchen. Yeah. I put myself some chicken wings in the oven. I know it's so unhealthy, but honestly, I don't care for today. I could use some chicken wings. <laughs> I made myself a super quick salad. I have some avocado. I got some cheese, some lettuce, and a balsamic vinaigrette. Liv is over there touching things that she should not be touching. So I'm keeping a close eye on her because I'm probably gonna have to go and take what she's touching. Oh boy. But um, I have some chicken wings, like five chicken wings in the oven. So I'm having a semi-healthy meal tonight. But yeah, super good. Anything with, like when I make salad and I put avocado, it's my favorite, literally my favorite. So good. So it wouldn't be me if I did not burn my chicken wings underneath. Like how on earth am I gonna get this off? Oh my goodness. Mama is a mess, dude. Yeah, this is ba the baby bump number two. It's barely there. Hi. Come, let's go play. Let's go play. I don't want to hold you. I want to play. Let's go play and have some fun. Come on, follow mama. Follow mama. Come on. Come on. Mommy's waiting for you. I want her to start playing with her toys, but she's not very independent with play. She requires for me to kind of play with her, which is very normal. I mean, she's not even a year old yet. Come on. What is there to play with? You want to show everybody how you do, how you do these? Here. <coughs> Look, honey. Wow. Good job, you try so hard. Try again. <coughs> That's your fun box. Is that your cell phone? Allo? <laughs> yes, allo. Is this your telephone? 
Is this your telephone? That's a really cool. Hey. Hey. So I thought that I'd say a funny story. Um, <laughs> Liv has this thing where she pinches. And I'm trying to teach her not to pinch. No matter what I do, she still does it. She thinks it's hilarious. So anyways, my husband was sitting right next to me. And she goes for my arm. Like my arm is like this and she goes to pinch. So my husband puts his arm in front of mine. She grabs his arm, tosses it away, and pinches my arm. And I'm like, what is it that you have against your mother that you have to hurt me? Like, what is this? She has such like a delicacy with her father. She's so delicate, she's so sweet. And then with me, she just like pinches me. And she finds it so funny. Like, it's hilarious how funny she finds it. She just laughs and laughs and laughs all the time. Hey, baby. I mean, obviously she doesn't realize that it's actually hurting me, but. <laughs> Yeah, that's the lunch. Someone is getting tired. We're gonna have our bottle soon. Hey, baby girl, we're gonna have our bottle. And that's gonna conclude our night time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you wanna eat the camera? Okay. Um, 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 um,